So you've shot some awesome stock footage. Got the post shoot depression going on, anxiety. Doesn't look great, but you're gonna persist. You're gonna stick this stuff onto the PC and you're gonna do your best with it. Hey guys, I'm Seb and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my workflow for editing stock footage. This is basically a continuation of the previous video that I shot where I went down the beach with my buddy Ricky. We shot some yoga style stock footage and this is how I'm gonna then edit them ready for processing on black box. So yeah, let's jump straight in. Smash Control I to import our footage. Drop first clip onto the timeline. This creates a new sequence. The sequence will be the same settings as the original footage. Delete it because we don't want it. Double click the first clip. It will open the clip in the source window. Now it's time to start trimming the gash. Press play. Set an in point by pressing I. Out point, smash O. Drop it into the timeline. Press comma. Repeat this process for clip two. Play the clip. Here's the move, in point, smash O for an out point, comma, drops the clip onto the timeline. Move on to the next clip. Play I for an in point, O for an out point, comma, to drop it down. So repeat that process through all of your clips until you have a timeline full of these bad boys. Okay, color grading. Go to the first clip. Select color tab, and then I'm gonna import a LUT. This was shot in Vlog L. I am gonna use a LUT created by a guy called Jay Wooks, I think his name was. This basically converts Vlog L into a normal Rec 709 color space. So next up, we need to check the color space using the scopes here. Zero is totally black and 100 is completely white. We don't want either of those, so we wanna be in the middle. I always aim for around 10 and 90. If I bring down the whites, it will drop the highlights a little bit. If I bring up the blacks, it'll bring the blacks up a little bit. This means we've got detailed information in the shadows and we've got plenty of room in the highlights for clients or people who purchase the clips to do the editing. That looks pretty cool. Check your color balance, a bit more blue, a little bit more purple. Sorted. Next up, warp stabilizing. Jump into here, we go to effect. Wall stabilizer, drop it onto the clip, let it work its magic. Check the results. Good, keep it, bad, junk it. Warp stabilizers doesn't work all the time, so you've got to check and review what it's doing to your footage. So we've set up a basic color profile for this particular shoot. I can copy Lumetri color and paste it onto the remaining clips to give me a similar look. A quick review of the scopes. We could potentially bring the highlights down give a little bit more headroom and check this one again. Highlights, everything looks pretty good on that one, so we're all good. It's now time to export. Select the clip you want to export, press X. That'll set the in and out points in the actual main timeline. Control M to export. Set your export settings, which will be H.264. Render at maximum bit depth, two pass at VBR with 150 megabits per second bit rate. Select use maximum render quality, name your file, click save, smash Q. Repeat this process for the rest of the clips in your timeline. The playhead over the clip, click X, Control M, add to the Q. Click X, Control M, add to the Q. And that's it. Watch and render and we're good to go onto Blackbox earning some dollar.